Wes, let's talk about a nice matchup in the AFC. The Jets traveling to India Monday Night Football. And the Colts got a, you know, they got embarrassed a little bit by Rex Ryan and the Bills in week one. And now they face a Jets team led by Todd Bowles. Here's the question. Will the Colts continue to struggle against defenses that are more physical than them? Well, they did show signs of progress. Frank Gore, he couldn't get going, so they were a little one-dimensional. But on defense, they stopped LaShawn McCoy for less than three yards per carry. Henry... Henry Anderson, the rookie, was the best player on defense in this game outside of Vontae Davis, who's a lockdown corner. He had three tackles for loss and quite a few stuffs at the line of scrimmage. And Kendall Langford, another defensive end they picked up in the offseason. Nice game for him in the run game, too. So signs of progress, but they still couldn't stop LaShawn McCoy on a key third down run late in the game. And they couldn't, they couldn't stop Carlos Williams, a rookie running back who got a 16-yard touchdown. So I think there are some signs that they need to have more of a backbone. And I think this is a good spot. It's a good spot after a tough loss in week one to get to come home in prime time. I think Andrew Luck will play very well, even against the better Jets secondary. Might not have Antonio Cromartie. But if the Jets do bully the Colts here and the Jets get out of their 2-0 and and the Colts are on 2 it's fair to think the sky is falling in India. I mean, they need to step up here and say, hey, we're not some pushovers. So it's a big spot. They haven't come up in big games. They need to come through this time. Colts, the onus is on you to prove that you are tough.